What's up, everybody? It's Andy with LightenUpAndShoot.com. Uh, I was sitting here playing with new Photoshop CS5, and a customer called and said, we love this image, and we want to use it on a billboard, but is there any way that you can make the lips a little bit pinker? I said, no problem. And while I'm at it, why don't I do a quick tutorial to show you how quick and easy it really is. So here's what I do. I always make a copy of the background layer. That's the first thing I do with any image. And that is so I have a reference to the original image uh, later. And I do that with a shortcut. And the shortcut on a PC is Control J or Command J on a Mac. Once that is copied onto a new layer, as you can see, I grab my zoom tool, which the shortcut is Z, and I zoom in right onto the lips. After that, I grab my lasso tool, which the shortcut is L for lasso, and I make a very rough selection. I'm not too worried about perfection because we will fix that later. Okay, once the selection is made, I go down here to see this little black and white cookie. All of you from New York know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, I click on this and I go to hue and saturation. Once I click on hue and saturation, my selection disappeared. And it disappeared because this adjustment layer automatically creates a mask out of that selection. To view that mask, I click Alt and click, and that white is my mask. That white and black is my mask. A quick rundown about masks. They're very basic. Black will hide whatever effect that you have, and white will show whatever effect that I have. So it's pretty much saying, see how everything around the lips are black? Everything. That is all gonna be hidden, and the only thing that's gonna change is where the white area is. And that, very basically, is how masks work. It's like a stencil, guys. All right, once that is, uh, is done, I go up here to my hue, and I change it over to the color that I like. I always want to zoom out when I'm working on a little part of the image just to see how well that color change goes with the rest of the image. And I like it, I'm liking it. It's a little bit pinker, maybe saturate a little bit more, okay? And I'm gonna saturate it because later on I'm gonna drop it down a little bit and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, once the color that I choose is selected, I zoom in again because I am now going to fix the roughness of my selection. You guys see how it kind of looks like it was just painted on there? You see these, these edges are a little bit too rough? Okay, there's two ways to do this. The way I prefer it is I take my brush tool, and remember when I told you that black hides the effect and white shows the effect? Well, what I want to do is hide these rough edges. So painting with black and with a pretty big sized brush, I want to make sure that my hardness is down to zero so that it is feathered. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint the borders with black and you see how that roughness is just disappearing, making it look more natural. See that? Now I like to do it this way because I have complete control of the entire image. For example, if I mess up here, see how I put the original color back in? I can always just paint with white and that will show the effect back again. So I wanna be careful here around my edges and just make sure that it does look all nice and natural. The borders here, I'm gonna require me to drop the brush size a little bit. And that is it. See up here? All right, whoever knew I was a makeup artist. I zoom out. The last thing that I always do is I change my blend mode to color. And I just like to change the color because it really brings out the tone from the underlying image and all those textures and everything really nicely. Now, remember when I told you I, was, I saturated a little bit because I was gonna drop it down a little bit later? I do this with opacity. With my adjustment layer selected, I drop my opacity down just to make it a little bit less bright. And that, guys, is how you change lip color. It's my before and my after. Nice little subtle effect. We'll see and hopefully the customer will like it. If you have any questions guys, just leave a comment.
Thank you.